Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to talk about pharmacists and I'm going to give you the job duties, the education requirements, some of the likes and the dislikes, and some detailed salary statistics so you can know some of the top paying industries and how much money these individuals make on average. So let's get started. First of all, what are the job duties of a pharmacist? Well, these individuals verify and fill prescriptions. They inform patients about potential side effects. They explain how and when to take medications to patients. They also check for potential drug interactions. They also administer flu shots and vaccines and sometimes even perform well exams. They will complete insurance forms, oversee pharmacy techs, and stock and manage inventory. So those are some of the common job duties that a pharmacist will do. Okay, what are the education requirements if you want to become a pharmacist? Well, generally speaking, most people first get a bachelor's degree. You can do a pharmacy program sometimes with just two years of undergraduate work, but most people do seek a bachelor's degree. Next, once you complete that, you will have to take the pharmacy college admissions test, which is called the PCAT exam, and you will have to score high enough to be able to enter a pharmacy program. Now, once you get into pharmacy school, it takes about three to four years, and there are different programs available, but you'll do that and earn your doctorate in pharmacy or your PharmD degree. Now, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there actually are some programs that you can do just out of high school, and it's usually six years, and you just go straight into that, and of course, you'll get your pharmacy degree that way. So there are a few different ways that you can do this, but once you complete all your education requirements, you are gonna have to have some job supervision or internship, and most states will regulate how many hours you have to complete before you are able to become licensed. So that's a little bit about the education requirements. Also, you may have to do one to two years of residency if you enter an advanced specialty or an advanced um, type of setting. So that's something you want to keep in mind as well. Now, what about the licensing requirements? Well, you generally have to have two different licensing exams that you have to pass in order to work as a pharmacist. The first is the NAPLEX, which is the North American Pharmacist Licensure Exam. The second one is the MPJE exam, which is the multi-state pharmacy jurisprudence exam and once you pass those two you can generally work as a pharmacist some states may require additional certifications or tests for example if you want to give vaccines or flu shots sometimes you have to take an additional certification course in order to do that so it does vary by states but generally speaking you're going to have to have at least those two licenses now, what are some of the likes and the dislikes of this profession? Well, one thing that a lot of pharmacists like is that they really feel that they get to make a big impact in the lives of their patients. And I've read many stories and heard through the years of pharmacists who, for example, will have a patient come in, they're taking all these different medications, and sometimes the pharmacist is able to advise that patient, hey, you don't really need to take these certain medications, and these medications may interact with this, and that may be why you're having these problems. And they're able to really help a lot of patients that way, and they get a lot of satisfaction Satisfaction when they are able to do that. Another thing is that the job can be qu become quite routine and so a lot of pharmacists like that because they feel that they really get to master their job. They do the same task day in and day out, deal with a lot of the same medications and so they become experts and, and true professionals. Another thing is that of course the salary is nice which I'll get to in just a moment. But what are some of the dislikes that pharmacists have about their job? Well, some of them feel like they're disrespected by a lot of doctors and nurses and, and they don't like that. Another thing is that the work can be very hard. It can be stressful. Patients ask a lot of questions. They may also have to fill a lot of orders during a shift and things like that. So that can be a little hectic. And then finally, the paperwork and insurance claims and things like that can be a hassle and a lot of pharmacists don't like that part about their job. Okay, now let's talk about salary statistics and job information. And all this information comes from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, which is the government organization that collects and records jobs data. And as of 2014, which is all these statistics, they projected a 3% growth rate between years 2014 and 2024 for the profession of pharmacists. That is a little slower than average. That's probably due to a lot of the changes in healthcare law and also some of the newer technologies, some drug dispensing machines and so forth like that are on the horizon. So they project a little bit of a slower growth rate, but it is still going to grow. There were 290,780 pharmacists employed in the United States as of 2014. And the average hourly wage was $56.96. The average salary, 118,470 here in the U.S. Now, that can vary. Some pharmacists make a lot more. Some pharmacists may make a little less. It can depend on a lot of factors, such as the state in which you live, your certifications, the number of years of experience you have, and things like that. I'm going to talk about some of those issues right now. 
First of all, what are the industries with the highest level of employment for pharmacists? Health and personal care stores came in at number one. $119,420 was the average salary there. General medical and surgical hospitals were the next highest employers with $117,690 was the average there. And then grocery stores were number three, $115,080 was the average salary there. What about the top paying industries for pharmacists? Well, scientific research and development services came in at number one, $129,790 was the average there. Warehousing and storage facilities came in at number two, $128,130 was the average. And then offices of physicians came in at number three, $127,550 was the average there. What about the top paying states for pharmacists? Alaska, number one, $136,320. California, number two, $132,160. And then Maine, number three, $129,100. And then finally, the lowest paying states, Nebraska came in at the lowest at 100,630. Iowa, number two, 100,750. And then Montana, number three, at $106,670. Now, if you would like to see the salary mm -hmm. statistics for all 50 states for pharmacists, there is a link in the description of this YouTube video. You can visit our website, registerednursrn.com, and we will have an article with all 50 salary statistics for different states and things like that. You can check that out. I also have a video on pharmacy techs if you want to check that video out. So thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing.